Luigi, it's Dan. Something terrible has happened. What in the world did you do down there? An assassin showed up and helped me defeat Iosa, a really important Kamado hero. At least that's what she told me. Holy crap! That must be why. What, what's going on? I, I just caught into Fiverr to broadcast to all Kamado troops in this area. The countdown to the Alpha Strike has been put on hold, but all ground activity in the vicinity is being concentrated on hunting you down. Yeah, just like how they broadcasted in the previous run. Oh no. Whatever you do, don't panic. As you know, the Tossin's last planetary shield generator was shot down, but the Kamado broadcast also says that the Tossin had been totally exterminated. Well, they're not exterminated. <laughs> Now they're only waiting for our, all their ships to leave the ground, and they'll commence the Alpha Strike. Exterminated? But the ones in that outpost, if I don't hurry, they're all dead too. Wait, are you sure you're safe in this time? I'm safe as I can get. I hope so. I don't want to worry about you again. Sheesh, I promise. Now hurry to the General. He's already landed, and this is Sector X, so he's got to be somewhere nearby. Okay, stay safe. I'm gonna find him. Here it is! The final level! Sector X! Hey guys, Mr. Cheese Gaming here, and welcome back to Let's Play EG. Last time, we witnessed Anasaski defeat Annihilator Iosa. Now, we can continue on with our pacifist run. We got the ultimate weapon! The Velocitor... Thor V2-10 which is required if you want to avoid the Asha battle. No, I'm not going to go ahead and pick that up. So that was a pretty much a waste of time. I've never got to know what that teleporter is for, but who cares? <laughs> we're at the final area of the game, and I'm so excited because we're about to finish this LP. What does this have to say? Damn it! Yosa has fallen. Something is very, very wrong here, and I don't want to stick around to find out what. Yeah, she was betrayed. Uh, I could use that nuke to get over there, but I already got the poster, and I don't really need that um, nano since all I'm upgrading now is strength. And I don't think I really need strength anymore either. Come here! Wait, isn't there? I was going to say, wasn't there an annihilator down there? Oh well. Some beasts down there. We don't really need to care about those. Let's get down this door. Seek and destroy. All available units in the area 693K-X79 are to seek and destroy the human anomaly. If possible, avoid complete termination. High Command wants to study her nanotechnology, and in particular her nanogun. The Alpha Strike has been postponed until either this goal is achieved or it becomes decided we lost too many forces to her. You haven't lost any to her. High Command and General Tor both reserve the right to call back any all forces to commence Alpha Strike at any given moment. Their patience is rapidly running out. Beware. This is the same individual that we believe killed Annihilator Eosa. Well, I did not. Eosa was betrayed. Do not underestimate her under any circumstances. Still think that I'm a killer. Bailing out. Uh, no. What? I'm bailing out. That crazy human gun in store for him, as far as I'm concerned. Well, jokes on you. I'm not gonna kill him. I forgot that there's a house in the security door here, but it seems to be stuck. Sorry, sis, but I can't find a way around it. So you'll have to improvise. Try searching the roof above. Huh. I'm gonna show you how to get by e Asha. Now, if you have your Tussin, 
Crack and Komodo all the way maxed out. It's raining as it. I hope my Nana Field can take it. Ship fighting must have messed up the atmosphere. Or was it the Tossin's Alpha Strike? Who cares? It's not gonna stop me. I wanna get off this damn space rock. Not only does Power Drawer Central burrow down and lock any nearby doors, it's specifically built to resist the nuke. Well, I have something more powerful than the nuke. Well, that's one way to destroy the core. As you can see, there is a supercharge in there. There's nothing special if you get all the supercharges, which is why I'm never going... Which is why I'm not really going to get it. If you want it, you're going to have to shoot it to um, make that supercharge appear. And then you're going to have to defeat Asha in order to open up these doors. Since we're pacifists, we're not going to be able to open that up. Caught up with the crackers. Yep, they're all arrested. General Exoskeleton. Annihilator class Exoskeleton, the Eidolon model, was created solely used by the Komodo Generals. And it is designed to battle armies. Most of the units rely on focus, large skill attacks, and has trouble aiming at nearby units. However, it's the most powerful weapon doubles as accurate long range attack, the Phantom Hammer. No general has yet to fall in battle piloting an Eidolon, and even though many of his weapons can be repelled with a mere resonance reflector, none has survived long enough to even attempt it. Well, that's how you defeat Tor. Even the legendary Hell Sari of the Tossing Elite, known for driving modified Tossing Cruiser to battle, to surface battles, fell to General Tor while defending Elam Siaz, one of the last Tossing homeworlds. I see what happened. Toro is in the middle of negotiations with Hell Sari, and the Imperial Army says, Tor, just shoot the girl. And that's what happened. General Tori reportedly destroyed both the cruiser's reactor core and Helsori herself with a ha Phantom Hammer shot. Well, I already showed you what Phantom Hammer shots looked like in the previous playthrough, but... Hey, I didn't have to kill Asha to get by here. Damn it, the Komodo have set up several defense posts here. There is only one way through, so be prepared for a fight. Remember, we're running out of time. Don't hold back. Got it. Kill. I ain't sparing anyone who tries to run from our mission. Our opponent is a single damn human. So get your asses over to your post and kill her dead. You say she's just some grunt? I say she's a killer of our honor Diosa. Using the elite nano technology and a priceless nano gun. And so does High Command. And if you mess with High Command? No! And you don't mess with me either, so get that human. If you're more afraid of her than me, you're a traitor. Ah, huh. oh, jeez. to open this. But now you understand why it was boosting up my prioritized and boosting crack tossing and Kamado. It's the only way to get by Asha without killing him. I did not duck fast enough. Whoopsie. Go around. Ow. See that little machine that's hovering around? I hate that enemy. And I forgot what the name of it is, too. Like. Basic enemy info. Yep, Sky Mashers. I absolutely hate them. And here's a piece. Komodo's troops and cyborg technology are terrifying to hunting them. 
the uh, Fletcher Nikamoto troopers who suffered too severe brain damage from the combat drugs to get during training and thus would be useless as ordinary soldiers are the ones turned into bees. Yeah, that's really messed up. Anyways, back to the pause menu and continuing onwards. My job sucks. This is the Imperial Army. Those are strains, and ah, uh, wouldn't it be epic to um just max out all my um weapons and get all the cracks? But I'm gonna hold off on that. In fact, I don't really need it because all I really need is a resonance reflector. Uh, there's the annihilator. Said this way. Head up the elevator. Get this down. Really? The beast didn't even notice me? But there's a Sky Masher, and I really fucking hate Sky Mashers. They're going crazy there. There's the last um Terminator as well as a trooper. Well, it's just a matter of jumping up here. Ow. Ow. Restricted area. Now what's this over here? You got the massacre. Select it by pressing zero. This weapon uses your own armor as ammunition. Its power is unaffected by your attack stat. Damage taken by firing it does not count towards your damage taken to total. Okay. Anomaly. This is Assassin and Saskzi. I forgot to thank you for your help. It's because of your cracking skills that we got anywhere near beating Eosa at all. The Imperial Army won't take care of death lightly, and whatever happens when you get to Torg can only make it worse. Still, you've got a strong mind. I'm with General Tor, but if a mere human is strong enough, is enough to change him, perhaps I need to change as well and leave the army. Don't worry about me. Just do what you think is right. At any rate, if things go wrong and you need to put Tor in place, that shotgun won't do any good. I believe violence is a tool that should be used sparingly, but with utmost force. You understand this too, and as far as I've gathered, you survived this far without killing a single one of your enemies. Only, not even when the chance was right in front of you. I married that in a person, therefore I could have left you a massacre, a weapon that I once used on Zero Taco. Look up the weapon info if you're interested. Either way, this prototype is not as powerful as your real as the real deal. It will drain your armor when fired, and should suffice to keep a uh, Kamado General in check. Good luck, Anonymly, and Sasuke. So for playing as pacifist, we got a massacre. I believe you do that by hitting zero, but it eats up your armor. Well, you do get a secret message if you used it against Tor. I'm not going to, since it's going... Well, actually, no, I won't, because Tor um, kills himself rather than falls to Eiji. Operation Purge, Log 1, by Kamado General Tor. It was mere turns ago that we were passing Origin by, sending a scout team consisting of three troopers on the surface. It took a long time repairing, but we didn't think much of it. A few turns later, they sent a report. They have crashed and were dying, but could confirm through standard global scanning that there were no Tossin on origin. I, of course, withheld this report from the fleet. I'm not as knowledgeable as Kiran when it comes to Imperial research new inventions, but I know that global scanning project never took off. 
remain but uh, scared to keep the Tossin in line. This report was clearly sent by them. When I had found their last stronghold in the universe, origin of all places, I had the power in my hands, the power to annihilate them once and for all, the power to bring peace to our shameful race, the power to kill a million people in mere cycles. Mere cycles. The fleet has destroyed the worlds before, but then it was by order of high command. This time it was on my shoulders. But we... Well, we know that you attacked last time because we called you down. What do you have to say now? What's your excuse? I hadn't my, much time to ponder this alone. As the Yosa walked into the command bridge, I told her about my dilemma, as I knew that I could trust her. Her reaction was not surprising. This is what the people have been waiting for, she reminded me. Clearly making countless billions of Komodo happy would be worth more than sparing a million Tossin. I had my, much to adjust to that. It is plain logic. We are a race of conquest, and as such, we must remain unified. We are like an enormous organism spreading throughout the galaxy, ever improving itself. And dangerous defects like the Tassin will be pursued as not to let them spread and corrupt the rest of the whole. Destroying them now is my responsibility as a Kamado, but bringing peace at the cost of so many lives? I was reluctant, but he also asked what I would tell High Command if this surface if this would surf in the future, I could not think of a reply. More fleas would in time come here, and more scout teams would be sent. The toss in the extinction was inevitable, and so I made the transmission public, and that is exactly what it implied. The roaring and cheering of our troops could be heard all the way through the command bridge. The burden never rested on me in the first place, but on my people. Hmm. Last time he was blaming us because we called him. Now he's blaming his own people. Hmm. Take a look at all the damage. Buildings still stand. But the atmosphere is taking a toll. Strange door. That security door to the right has a strange net of field knock on it. It says it will only open if you beat them the game at least once before. Well, whatever keeps people out. Well, we have beaten the game. So now that door is open. So let me show you a little secret Um, once I pick up that ribbon. Strength one last time. What does Stan have to say? A ribbon? Mia. What's wrong? Ah. Uh. Look, you have to hurry before the Komodo General leaves his post and returns to a lower orbit. You can do it, but quickly. Thanks, Dad. I'll reach him soon. I won't let you down. Of course not. You haven't made it this far for nothing. I believe in you, so hurry up. Show him not to mess with my sis. Got it. Mia, yeah, thank you for everything. I'll never forget you. Huh. What's beyond this door? This door teleporter will only activate if you beat in the game at least once. Let's go on through. This looks dangerous. I really should take a look at those logbooks before touching anything out here. Kamado Berserker, General Exoskeleton, Maximum Charge. What's your deal, Zakaylo? Always poking your nose in things? I suppose I'll tell you what I'm guarding here. You see, normally the Eidolon General Exoskeletons take some time to achieve the full power their weapon arrays after first being activated. If a general needs to do combat unprepared, the Exoskeletons' weapons will start out weak and gradually increase in power as they are used. This is rarely the case as generals of the Imperial Army are not simply surprised by their enemies, and any battles with the Tassin are carefully planned. In case of an emergency, however, a mobile power core can be used to perform a maximum charge of the exoskeleton, upgrading all its weapons to their full potency as soon as it's activated. We actually have a power core dedicated to charging Taurus exoskeleton right here, but I don't will ever have to use it. If you were to mess with that terminal over here, I mean, it means Tor will be fully charged for battle. Absolutely no punches held. An additional challenge, huh? Whoa, whoa, whoa. The Kylo, 
Just in case you poke around here after I leave, I must warn you again. Do not mess with that terminal! For once General Torres ex enters his exoskeleton, this power core will raise his weapons and defense shielding to maximum power. You'll get in trouble if you do that without permission. Press again to confirm maximum charge. <laughs> Guys, I will warn you, if you are not good at this game, do not press C. The Berserker was not kidding. You press this, and Jor will not hold any punches. He will be in his, he'll start off in his final phase. Well, now we're screwed. <laughs> no turning back. Huh. I love how it um, now uses um, Kamado le numbers instead of English, or rather, Arabic numerals. EG, this must be where General is. Keep in mind that I can't reach you out here, so you're on your own. Whatever you do, keep calm, and don't get in a fight this time. This is a Kamado General, not a tossing elite, but most of all, are you sure you know exactly what's going on? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm ready. Good luck. I'm counting on you. The Kamado have all left around here, so I'm heading outside to meet up with you when you're done. What? what? Are you crazy? Hey, there's no reason for me to stay in here anyway. Especially if things go wrong again. Uh, not that I'm saying they will. I believe in you, sis. But don't worry, you'll make it just fine. You, if anyone, should know how horrible this war is. You won't have any problem convincing the general of it. That's not what I'm worried about, you idiot. I'm worried about you. It's not exactly easy seeing you fight for your life either, you know. I need to get it out of my mind before I go crazy. Go on, sis. Hurry to the general. I'll be waiting for you when you return, okay? Well... Okay, thanks. See you soon and take care. By the way, I saw through the cameras that the assassin who captured me before seems to have blown himself up. He looked really angry about something. Don't make the general do the same, okay? I'm going to make one thing clear. I have never and never... I have never and will never let personal emotions interfere with my logbook. The news just read me that Annihilator Eosa is dead. That is a matter I will not discuss here. Currently, we have just finished routing the Tassin colony. But the only way to truly freeze the public is Alpha Striking Origin. Taking the final step, blowing Tassin kind out of history, out of space and time. The humans are not worth saving either. They have no future left. If my feelings for this planet are to be shaped by the public of Imperial Army, then who am I to object? This is it. I may finally be ready to end this. Shamed by Asha. Anomaly, I have been waiting. Waiting to kill you or die trying. But no. No! You wouldn't give me the pleasure. Escaping life by your hands would be the only thing less shameful than returning without the bounty. My arm, my reputation, losing to a human, now failing to kill you. I've been um, so stained, it's far too late to cleanse myself. Give me my regards to the general. The general that will soon end your miserable, pathetic excuse for life. Enough now like a trillion others at the hands of the Kamado. Do you understand, human? This planet will end. Everyone die. Will die. Everyone. Death. Death. He committed suicide, didn't he? You again. Hey. Yeah, I'm not going to do voice acting here. Hey, don't mind me. I'm just here to pick the audio log out of Tor if he dies. I didn't come here or two. I know, but the way you argue, they'll turn out like Eosa. Just remember, I can't hold your hand this time, Anomaly. My name is Eiji, and there's nothing else I can do. I'm not gonna let you destroy the world. Hmm. So the General has an easier time listening to someone calm and rational. Don't get too excited, Eiji. About that, did you really have to kill Eosa? I knew it would cost my life. I knew it would devastate General Tor. I did it because the woman was wrong. Whether her death will be awakening or further motivate or 
further motivating your troops is, for the time, for don't you decide. I'm just glad I got to do it myself. Really obsessed with this. So what if I am? I want to stop the development of Gen 3 weapons and the ideals behind them. But of course there are sacrifices. I admire your pacifism. But remember that the ones who don't fight back are the easiest to crush. How'd it go? But you have any more suggestions for convincing Tor? Simply arguing won't work. Tor doesn't care who pushes the buttons as he thinks the one who gave the order is the one at fault. He'll blame anyone but himself, no matter what you're planning to tell him. Thanks a lot. Oh, simply is where you plan- I missed that dialogue, <laughs> whoops. Symphony is where you plan it, but if you manage to have your way, I suppose there is more to you than survival instinct. Don't wait around, Meiji. I hate to see someone so stubborn die so young. Got it. General. My name's Eiji, and I'd like to have a word with you. Can you understand me? What exactly is this? I even walk into my post, asking to speak with me in my own language. Wait, you have to be. Y yeah, I know. I'm the human anomaly, but there's something very important that... What the? You're the scum who killed Ayosa! Wait! General! Please wait and let me explain! Are you kidding me? I haven't insulted anyone. All the people I've tried to talk to have tried to kill me. And besides, Leosa was killed by a Kamado. Killed by our own people? Preposterous! I'm not lying. And I'm not here to fight you. All I want is a peaceful discussion. Oh, of what, may I ask? Well, what do you think? We live here on this planet, and we haven't hurt anyone. All of a sudden, the Tossin came and wasted most of our people. And now you think you can get away with Alpha striking us too? I mean... Ha! Huh. Of course we can get away with it. Perhaps you're not aware that the only way to make sure the Tossin are extinct is to... No, that's not right. You already know they're all gone. That not a single one left anywhere. That's correct, but... But what? What do you have against us? It... 
Do you think the humans don't even matter? That's just stupid. It's the same as the reason you hunted the Tossin. Because they're not the same as you. <laughs> you have no idea what you're talking about, human. What do you have to accomplish by complaining to me about the errors of my people? The Tossin were a lesser form of Kamado, a society of outcasts and leeches. Now, Kamado's hatred for them grew over so many dark turns, and once the warp started, there was no stopping it. The majority always saw it off the Tossin as inferior, and no matter what you say, you cannot stop such a massive force of strife once it began to spread. Our leaders in high command were powerless. The Imperial Army took the law into their own hands. So what you're saying is, is that you didn't care that the Kamado would rather wipe the Tazen out than live in peace with them? Bah! You think? That's so easy, human. You think the handful of leaders of high command who did seek a rational solution to the conflict, who had stopped the ignorance of the masses when the war broke out, anyone opposing the Imperial Army would be killed? You think? We're so careless as to wipe out a planet if it wasn't even necessary. You can't blame me without first blaming the public and the Imperial Army. But I... I thought the leaders of a people were responsible for them. You keep talking like it's not your fault when you're the one with the power. Power? The people don't remember their leaders, do you expect us? To just wish their intelligence away. We tried to end the conflict, damn it. Don't come here and tell me we didn't try. High Command did the right thing in going with the flow of the Imperial Army, otherwise, we'd be stuck in internal war. You just tried into my post and expect me to know all the answers to all our problems when all you say has already been said. I'm sick of this conflict and I'm sick of people like you. But there's one good thing about the extinction of Tossin is that we'll find it into the most pointless war I've ever seen. Dead. It may be enough for me, but it's not enough for people. They've waited ages for this to happen, and we have to finish what they started. They couldn't care less about this planet either, so no matter what I or anyone else in High Command says, this is the only way. The Alpha Strike is just about to begin powering up. Once I return to lower orbit, one word for me will put an end to your suffering. I don't care what you say. I'll save the world if it so takes my life. Save the world, is it? Fine. I will grant your death wish. Prove to me I am wrong. Prove to me just how strongly you believe in your words. In the meantime, enjoy the view. No! Stop it! Stop charging the Alpha Strike! Too late, human. Tonight is the end of our blood-stained history.